Here is the moment. People are failing, falling into adultery, loving money, missing in action, and worst of all, silent about the sin of America. And they'll tell you why. They'll admit it. I will lose members if I start speaking on those subjects. And I ask them, you mean the subjects in the Bible? Everybody look at me right now. The subjects in the Bible? You know, you realize that the most famous book outside the Bible, the single most famous book about hell, was written by Dante. And Dante's Divine Comedy is an amazing work of art. It actually invented the Italian language. Well, Dante said this. He said, the darkest part of hell is reserved for those who remain neutral in a time of moral crisis. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Mario Murillo is not going to remain neutral. I'm telling the Biden administration. I'm telling Hollywood. I'm telling the educational system. You are not going to turn America into a socialist concentration camp. Somebody shout to God about the truth. Paul asked the question that all of us ought to ask. Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? I know that's two questions, but I thought I could get away with it. The vision galvanized them. God moves in cluster moments. You have the wise men, you have the shepherds, you have the miracle of Elizabeth with John the Baptist, all of it happening in a compressed season of time. In these clusters of the Holy Spirit in the earth, men and women are tasked by God and pointed out and give an opportunity. And if they obey and they pay the price, they'll change the era that they live in. Now, you have got to understand that in this moment, Paul wanted to know where he was supposed to go. He was about to change the history of the world. It wouldn't have changed if he'd gone to Asia. Wouldn't have changed if he had gone to Mysia. It wouldn't have changed until he got to Philippi. And it was the cry of the Philippians themselves that God heard. I want to talk to you for a moment about psychiatrists. Look me right in the eye. You know what psychiatrists say all the time? They say when a young woman cuts herself, it's a cry for help. They'll say when a young man gets involved in gangs, it's a cry for help. When someone tries to kill themselves, it's a cry for help. In other words, their actions aren't really known to understand the motive. That's why I believe that people are praying in America when they don't even know they're praying. Our youth are crying out. They're crying out. Help us. Help us. They're saying it in strange ways through their music, their tattoos, and their hair color. But it doesn't matter. I don't make fun of youth hairstyles anymore because I've been watching Christian television. <laughs> How sad are you if that's what you remember what I said today? <laughs> so the atheist of London bought up all of the billboards on the double-decker buses. And they put this sign on there. It said, there probably is no God. Go ahead and enjoy your life. And they thought that was so witty. But only a person who the oxygen doesn't make it to their brain 
would think that was an argument. How do you tell a child stuck in South America in sexual slavery to go ahead and enjoy his life? How do you tell a fentanyl addict in the grinding parts of New York, go ahead and hold, enjoy your life, or a 16-year-old girl lost on the streets? There's a misery in America. There's a misery in America. And every church that will stop business as usual will be flooded with souls. Now look at me. Why did the movie, I, I'm sorry, I should never interrupt applause as rare as it is for me. The movie, The Jesus Revolution. Oh, it's about a lot of things. And we can, and I knew those people. I knew Lonnie Frisbee. I knew Chuck Smith. But what was the movie about? It was about one moment. There's two minutes in that film that tells you the whole story of how Calvary Chapel exploded. It was the day that he had to decide between the hippies or his board. That was all of it. He said, do I follow the cry of the man from Macedonia? Or do I sustain my hard-fought career and my source of income? Is that what I'm after? Is that what matters? He said, do I keep church as usual? Or do I listen to the vision of the cry from Macedonia? People look at this. You know, I know people don't like me. I know that. And I look at my earlier iterations of myself. I don't like myself either. But God has kicked a lot of stupid out of me in the last few years. And I'm at the moment in my life where this tent should be gratifying, but it's not. Because I believe that there are millions upon millions of Americans ready to get saved. They're ready right now. And the Bible says, they, 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 and then we. That's what happened this morning. That's exactly what happened. I'm telling you, the devil is down at Starbucks because he's the only one that can take that stuff. But <laughs> come on, they burn it. And that stuff is creosote. I, you can pour it on a railroad tie and it'll preserve it. Uh, use, come on, buy local coffee, folks. <laughs> buy local. Now, so here we are at that moment where they turn into wheat. And the shocking part is the money will be there. The church growth will be there. This is what makes it most embarrassing. Those that have chosen the natural marketing, spin doctoring, uh, big screens, and I finally got my own. <laughs> and believe that's the secret, that's the answer, are giving way to a new breed of pastor that says, I'm not going to listen to the board, I'm going to listen to the cry of the people. And God is going to give me a revival, a move of God, a move of the Spirit. And you know, what happened in the Jesus movement is you couldn't get pastors to tell you how many members they had because they didn't know. There were too many people getting saved. They would share stories that are so different than today. The stories they'd share is, I can't believe it, our phone is ringing off the wall. It, it, the fish are jumping in the boat. In the Jesus movement, the fish jumped in the boat. Today, they're banging down our door. How many of you want to see them saved? How many of you want to bring them in? 